What's up everyone and thanks for joining me again this week. If it's your first time here, welcome and be sure to subscribe if you like what you see so that you can continue learning more about SQL Server each and every week. And so this week we're going to be talking about temporary stored procedures. Temporary stored procedures are something that I learned about fairly recently, but I never really used one because I couldn't think of a good use case for it. And when recently I found a good use case for it, I thought, well, why not? share it with you because maybe you'll be able to use it too. So let's dive right in. And so a temporary store procedure is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you can create a temporary store procedure object and after you're done using it, it'll automatically get cleared away. And the reason I ended up needing to use a temporary store procedure was because I was building a new table to replace an old legacy table. The upstream data sources were changing, some were getting retired, so I basically had to build a new table using new logic that would totally replace this old legacy table. It's also worth noting that these new data sources would have more columns and more rows, and my actual new table would have more columns and rows, which I would then just create a view to kind of mimic that old table's functionality. And so I wrote my new query that I was gonna to use to populate my new new version of this table, uh, but where things get interesting is that I couldn't really test this. I didn't have good data to test with in a non-production environment, and there wasn't really anything I could do about that in this scenario, so I ended up writing this query against the production data. Uh, the problem was I didn't have all the tables that I needed to build out the full query, so I couldn't do a direct comparison of my new logic versus the data that was contained in the old table. But of course I was going to be testing my data, and I didn't want to have to run my queries individually and then you know reset them up every time changing parameter values and I didn't really want to just copy the query over and over again because it was hundreds of rows long and so that was going to be a really messy file I wouldn't be able to document it well I wouldn't be able to scroll through it to change my tests as I had to make modifications and so I decided to use the temporary store procedure to encapsulate that gigantic query in my production environment um, I could create temporary store procedures, but I can't create permanent store procedures without a whole elevation process, which is going to take up too much time for this particular project. And so once I put that huge, complicated query in my temporary store procedure, I could just create my SQL file and execute it for every different test scenario that I had. And this ended up working really well because my test data was in production and I couldn't actually make any changes in production with the exception of creating this temporary stored procedure object. After I had that created, I could just execute it with my different values, document any logic or changes I needed to make. If I found a problem, I'd go fix my query, recreate the temporary stored procedure, and then be able to run everything again to make sure the data that I was expecting to get was working correctly. And so while temporary stored procedures did help me test my code, test my data output in this case in a production environment, um, you know, they're definitely not something that I think is ideal. I much rather would have had good test data in another environment where I had access to make permanent objects and actually fully load my data and test it out that way but in this particular scenario where I was testing in production because I had to the temporary store procedures save the day so thanks for tuning in again this week I appreciate you watching all the way to the end if you're not a subscriber yet be sure to press that subscribe button so you can continue learning SQL Server each and every week with these videos and with that I'll see you next time thanks